This video is a great way to practice your voiceover gestures. So when I have a student who might be doing a right swipe and instead of getting a true right swipe, they're actually doing a diagonal swipe, quite often that happens because they have their elbow and their arm up against their body, resting against their body, or they're leaning on the table. And then when they lean on that table, their finger, instead of doing a right swipe straight across, it actually does a diagonal from the top left down to the right, bottom right. And so they think they're doing a right swipe. And then all of a sudden they hear something like something activated in the rotor because the iPad thinks it was a down swipe instead of a right swipe. So a great place to practice is to go into settings. settings. One new item. Okay, if you noticed I dragged pretty much straight to that. I knew it was in my dock at the bottom and in the middle of my dock. So I found the middle of the screen and kind of dragged down. I'm gonna do a split tap. I'm still holding my finger that I dragged to settings. I'm gonna drop my middle finger down to open. Touch ID and passcode. Now we already talked about the fact that it's really important to know the space of the iPad. So on my iPad, when I open up settings, it's laid out as a one third on the left hand side and a two thirds on the right hand side. Um, what's in the right hand side will change when I open different things up on the left hand side. So right now what's open is general, which is at the top. I'm going to come over to the right hand side. I'm just going to drag my finger over to the right side or touch someplace in the right side. Because if I did the right swipes all the way through, I would have to right swipe through all the different options on the left side. So I'm right swiping. Oh, it would take me forever to get over to the right side. Let's go back up. General's at the top. General is open, so I'm going to come over to my right hand side, just touch and bring my focus over there or I could drag it over there. I'm going to come down to accessibility so I'm just going to right swipe a couple times. There it is. I'm going to double tap or I could have dragged and split tapped. I could have gone. Huh. Yeah there's accessibility. I'm going to drop a second finger down. I know voiceover is somewhere at the top of this. Ah, there it is. Voiceover. I'm going to open up that. Now note that voiceover has to be on in order for this voiceover practice option to appear. If I turn voiceover off, voiceover on. Voiceover off. you notice it disappeared. That voiceover practice is no longer there. Voiceover practice is only available when voiceover is on. So I'm going to go up to voiceover practice, voiceover, voiceover turn it on. Landscape. I'm going to come down. There, I drag down to voiceover practice and I'm going to split tap. Practice voiceover gestures. Voiceover practice heading. All right, so it told me it was in practice voiceover gestures and I'm in the voiceover practice heading. Now my cursor box, my voiceover cursor box is at the top on voiceover practice. I want it down in the main part of the screen. So I'm going to touch practice anywhere on the gestures. main part of the screen. In this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. Okay, so if I was listening to voiceover, it was giving me instructions to come up to the done button in the top right hand corner to exit and double tap on that. Now I'm going to practice in here. Um, this is what I was showing earlier in one of the videos. If I want to do a one finger single tap, one, two, three. Touch. Select item under your finger. One finger double tap, one, two, three. So I'm just practicing my skills. Double tap. Activates the selected item. One finger swipe right, one, two, three. Flick right, move to next item. One finger flick left, one, two, three. Flick left, move to previous item. Okay, so now if I had more than one student or maybe I have two devices and my student and myself are going through these commands, we do what we call synchronized swimming. You know what synchronized swimming is. That's the Olympic sport event where everybody's swimming together and they're doing all these patterns and, and they have to move together or they're gonna run into each other. Synchronized swimming on the iPad is basically the same thing. We want to shout out a command and then say one, two, three. So I'm gonna tell you what command to do. So it might be a one finger, one finger double tap, one, two, three, and then I hear the double tap. Two finger double tap. Start and stop the current action. Oh, two it's finger a two finger, didn't continue it? Speech. So let's try that again. A one finger double tap. One, two, three. Flip down. 
Move to next item using rotor setting. One finger double tap, one, two, three. Double tap, activates the selected item. Okay, so you see which ones, when I first did the first couple of times, I was like my student and I made a mistake. I dropped a second finger down as I was doing my double tap and voiceover thought it was a double tap, uh, a two finger tap. Um, if I did a slightly down swipe, flip down, move to next item using rotor setting. So I did a swipe that was at a diagonal going slightly down. It thought, iOS thought I was doing the flick down. So this is a great way to find out what your student's really doing when they're doing their voiceover gesture. And they can practice this on their own or with you um, and figure it out on what they're doing wrong and how to correct that issue. And again, if you're doing it in a group, it's really fun to have everybody's voiceover and you try to hear everybody do the gesture at the same time and hear the voiceover response at the same time. That's the synchronized swimming. Now remember to get out of voiceover practice, the done button that it said at the very beginning, if we were listening to the directions, the done button is in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to just put my fingers up here on the corner of my iPad at the top right, and I'm going to just drag my finger around. Ah, there's the done button. And then I can either double tap here or I can leave my done. finger on it. And since I'm here in the corner, I'm gonna drop my thumb to make the split tap. Voice over practice, button. 